How to Let Go of the Past Have you ever found yourself submerged in a world of emotions by some memories from your past? Some memories in our lives can bring us joy, happiness, flashes of romance and pleasure. Some other ones can provoke anger, sadness, guilt, regret, and sorrow. Whenever negative memories are more abundant than happy ones in our lives, this internal imbalance can be an unpleasant and overwhelming one. Our past negative memories can affect our moods and states of mind, and finding a proper way to not let this happen can sometimes be very challenging. Why is it that some of these negative memories, they keep on resurfacing time and time again in our minds? And why does it seem like we're unable to make them vanish or make them disappear? Are you new to our channel? Welcome! This is Trends for All Seasons. Provide us with your vital support and become a Patreon by clicking on the link below. While you're there, take a look at some of our recommendations and subscribe to our channel. The mind is a tricky part of our being. It seems to always be on, and it likes to do its own thing. When we're not consciously aware of our thoughts, our minds may habitually go off on a rampage, and it will easily replay a song, or a tune, or an undesirable memory over and over again in our heads, like a broken record. Our minds will, out of the blue, decide to make some memories appear like they just happened yesterday. And if some of these memories happen to be of traumatic events, they may feel like little nightmares that can last for years and years. Undesirable memories can be a variety of sorts. Memories of heartbreak, pain, disappointments, and stressful moments left behind from an imperfect past. The events we happen to remember could be of life-changing moments, as when a family member or a dear friend leaves our side and they're no longer with us. These memories can bring rivers of tears to our eyes. And when a substantial loss of financial comfort, affluence, or privilege is brought back into a memory, a particular regret may still linger in the back of our minds and turn our moods into sudden moments of inconsolable sadness. In short, negative memories often give rise to negative thoughts, and those thoughts often translate into negative feelings and unwanted emotions. Letting go of these stressful feelings and emotions is not easy, especially when the hurt was deep and the effects were so profound that our lives are still affected by those events. How can anyone easily forget a major accident, a debilitating illness, or a vicious harm that was done to us? How do we forget a loved one, or someone we cared for dearly, unexpectedly passing away, or a part of us that was once present, now forever gone? The heart aches, and the mind suffers whenever a negative occasion is remembered. Therefore, it is important for us to learn how to effectively cope with any and all undesirable memories and to have some knowledge of the best options and available steps for us to take to be able to suitably let go of these negative occasions. On our road to letting go of our negative memories, here are four steps most of us can take to let go of a displeasing past. 1. When undesirable memories come, it is up to us to be presently aware of our thoughts, feelings, and emotions in order to know where we're standing emotionally at these precise moments, so as to have a better idea in which direction we can then proceed. By becoming more aware of our thoughts, we can then guide our minds to direct our thinking towards a path that is more congruent with our intentions, goals, and purposes. 2. Acknowledging, realizing, and understanding that the past is the past and that although it has affected us deeply, any and all chaos and undesirable events in the past, they are still events that are now in the past. Nothing can be done to replace, erase, or change those moments. This is probably one of the most difficult steps to undertake. Understanding and acknowledging that a past event is something that now lives only in the past. It is certainly a tough mental process to perform. Many times we do not understand and we're unable to comprehend why did a particular situation happen to us. It is hard to interpret why is someone we loved so much now gone. 
Or why in the world is it that certain things had to turn out that way? What was the reason or the lesson we were supposed to learn? There are many of us that have many questions without proper answers, and they do have a tendency to revolve in our minds over and over again. No, acknowledging the past as the past is not an easy step to take, but a necessary one. In order to move on and have it let go of its grasp enforced upon us. 3. Accepting the events happened and finding our own individual solutions, remedies, and coping mechanisms that are in tune with the best ways we heal ourselves and the more effective forms of self-processing our drawbacks and shortcomings. Accepting is also a challenging step to assimilate. Accepting and taking responsibility for anything that was our fault, as our fault, is a step in the right direction. Accepting that life is life and that life will continue to be life is something to remember whenever someone we loved and cared for dearly naturally left this world. In regards to traumatic events, whether on purpose, by malice, or by chance, these events are understandably much harder to accept and acknowledge. Notwithstanding, accepting them as part of our lives and of living is something we still need to do so we can properly let go of most of our negative thoughts, undesirable feelings, and emotions. Regrets, heartbreaks, anguish, resentments, and a million of other negative sensations are certainly not a picnic we can easily move away from. The past can be haunting. Even the more common events, like losing a job, or missing out on a long-awaited opportunity, or being dismissed from a prestigious position, they're all significant losses we still remember, and many times we still yearn for. Any substantial loss reminds us of how much we cared for someone or something. We miss the experiences lived, the opportunities then available, the places, the freedom, and the peace we once had. Now that they're gone, we realize that we took a lot of what was then ours for granted. And today, we wish we could go back in time and change some of that somehow. Yes, all those good things that are no longer here, we miss them, and we miss them terribly. Nonetheless, past events and any losses associated with them are still memories from our past we need to humbly let go as we increasingly become more aware and more conscious of our thought patterns and behaviors. We can from there recognize, acknowledge, understand, and in time accept that unwanted memories from our past only live in our present because our minds keep them there. Four. Forgive and forget. When we forgive ourselves or the negative events or the people associated with our negative memories, we bring ourselves closer to being able to let go of our undesirable thoughts and dissatisfying sensations. Forgiving has the tendency to help us let go of a past that has caused us so much trouble, stress, inconveniences, longing, resentment, rancor, hatred, and pain. Forgiving, it is an essential key to letting go of a displeasing past that has resided inside of us for far too long. We understand that it is a very condensed and generalized resolution to a subject that requires extensive guidance, personalized attention, and explanation. If there's something most of us can do, for now, it is to appreciate what we have today, to live in the present as best as we can, and do for others what we would like others to do for us. The road to letting go of unwanted memories from our past is a challenging and arduous one. Although this being the case, once we finally get to the top of this hill, we may then start to see clearly our way ahead, where we'll be able to let go of a negative past that was holding us back so we can finally live our lives free of those undesirable sentiments and intertwined emotions, we will then peacefully and comfortably proceed to greener pastures of tranquility, self-reflect, self-confidence, and self-love.
Thank you for watching our video. Tell us which part you enjoyed the most and share it with our community in the section below. Check out our other videos regarding how to heal a broken heart and how to deal with stress effectively that complement this message. Share, like, and subscribe. Ring the bell to our channel and we will see you back again on our next video. Cheers!